Hello everyone! In this episode I have Bosch PowerMax Level 2 electric vehicle charger for repair. I was told that something is wrong with it and the owner already did some checking and suspects that the pilot wire inside of this charging cord is broken. So this can easily turn out to be a trivial case but anyway, let's have a look inside of this thing, just for the fun of it, and try to confirm this hypothesis, or maybe disconfirm it, you never know. Let's go! First I would like to hook this thing up and give it a try. Here is this standard 50 amp electric range cord attached. This is the new standard with four pins, and I would think that the neutral is not used. We only need uh, two hot wires and the safety ground in this setup. So I would like to remove this cord and attach my own, so I can plug it into my outlet here in my garage. So let's open this door and have a look. And by the way, I don't quite like that a proper strain relief like this is not used here. Here I opened this door and I don't quite like what I see again. First of all, this unused wire is just flopping around and with the combination of no strain relief it can potentially move and touch one of the hot wires so I would recommend bending it away and attaching like this with a zip tie or something like that, or maybe putting a heat shrink on it. And the second thing I don't like is that this white neutral wire is used instead of this green ground wire. They do eventually um, meet somewhere in the electrical panel, and if one of them is not used they are almost the same thing, but not quite. Just look at this connector. The safety ground is designed to connect first before everything else. You see it is slightly longer. So I would recommend using the proper ground instead of the neutral in this setup. Here I attached my cord. This is ground, hot and hot. And I know that this type of connection is not the right way long term. There must be uh, uh, crimped terminals like on the cord I removed. But temporarily for testing should be good enough. So let's plug this thing in and see what happens. So I plugged this thing in and when I flip this power switch after a while I hear some relays clicking, but the green light here does not come on, and I was told that it does. So I'm not sure what's going on. Let's take this thing apart and have a look inside. Here we are, and that's the reason the green light did not come on. The owner did take this thing apart, and just forgot to plug this front panel back in. Let's have a closer look at this board here. I explained some details of operation of such chargers in my do-it-yourself um, charger project video about three years ago. I will put link in the description. And in particular I explained that uh, High voltage lines essentially pass through such chargers with just minimal protection, sensing and switching. This is our input. These two lines come in, go through the fuses, go through these current sensing transformers, through the relays and to the output terminals. And this is our charging port. This uh, current transformer is measuring uh, current flowing through this one wire, so this must be a current sensor. And this guy is measuring current through uh, 
flowing through these both wires at the same time. So this must be GFCI or a ground fault interrupter. In normal circumstances the same current should flow through these two wires but in opposite directions. But if there is a problem, uh, let's say insulation is broken and part of the current does not come back, there should be some imbalance here and once that imbalance uh, reaches some threshold sensed by this uh, current sensor, uh, then protection should kick in and disconnect the output. So, this must be power supply for the electronics. Uh, this looks like a microcontroller. Uh, this is probably another one with some interface, which looks like Ethernet to me, but I'm not entirely sure. And this is the pilot wire, and it is for low voltage communication between the charger and the car. A charger is supposed to advertise how much current it can provide and a car is supposed to take not more than that. And on the other hand, a car is supposed to signal its state like connected, uh, charging or done. So uh, let's uh, connect the front panel back in and give it another try. Now we have this green light, so let's check the pilot here. So I have this meter set to voltage. Here is the ground pin and this must be in pilot. And we should see 12 volts there, but there is nothing. So let's check inside. Here is the ground, and uh, this is our pilot, and there you go, 12 volts. So yes, something must be wrong with the charging cord. So I wonder if this handle can be taken apart somehow, I don't see any way yet. Except maybe this little cover. Let's try prying this thing off and see what happens. It seems like I'm having some luck here. This little cover was hiding two screws. It was glued. And uh, these are security screws. But I happen to have this set of bits. Maybe one of them will fit. Let's see. I managed to take the handle apart. There are plastic hooks here, so some careful prying with a flat tool like this was needed. So this plastic clip can be pulled out and now we should be able to remove the pins from the connector. Okay, let me do this off camera. All right, I managed to pull out the pins and this is our pilot wire. It is not attached to the pin. So pin is still there in the connector and there is some rust. Hopefully you can see. So most probably this is our problem. Let's check the connection uh, from this side of the wire to this side to check the cord. So I have this multimeter in continuity mode. So I'll touch this side and touch this side. There we go. The cord is okay. So here is this pilot pin and it looks fine on this side which connects to a car but on this side which was inside of the handle it looks quite rusty and it was crimped around the wire 
Uh, let's see how can I fix this. And by the way, uh, this part is a rubber seal and we have such seals on each pin here. Uh, and there is also a rubber seal all around this cover. But the water apparently managed to get in somehow anyway. Let's talk about this second small pin. This has to do with uh, the switch and the charger knows nothing about this part. Uh, this is to send a signal to a car to stop charging when we pull out this handle. We don't want just pull out energized contacts. That would produce arcs and eventually damage contacts. And the way it works is uh, here. I printed this diagram from Wikipedia. Uh, there are two resistors from this pin in series to the ground, but the second one is shorted during normal operation. When we push the button, uh, the short is removed and the resistor is added to the circuit. So this should look like 150 ohm resistor uh, when the button is not pushed. And when we push the button, uh, 330 uh, will be added to that. The total is 480. Let's quickly check that. So I set the multimeter to ohms. Uh, here is the ground and this is our pin. There you go, uh, almost 150 ohms. And I push this switch, 473. Works great, no problem. So, here is my plan to fix this. The pin goes into that uh, hole in the plastic handle. And to have some room for a soldering joint, I removed some material here with a file. And now I plan to solder this additional piece of wire here and then solder this to the pilot wire and I will put some heat shrink over this place. And this is because uh, I believe this wire was not long enough. So this metal clip and this rubber piece together work as a strain relief, um, like so. But as you can see, the pilot wire does not really reach that pin when the uh, cord is pulled all the way against this rubber piece. Uh, so it seems to me that before it was like so and every time uh, the cord was pulled it was really pulling on the pilot wire that's why it eventually snapped. And uh, this is the rubber seal I removed from here to avoid damaging it when soldering. Probably it cannot handle high temperature. The soldering is done. This splice and this joint here. Now it's time to put heat shrink over this, uh, shrink it with hot air and put the handle back together. All right, the heat shrink is done, the rubber seal is back here. Time to put this thing back together. All right, the handle is back together, except these uh, two screws. Uh, it's held together by the plastic hooks for now. Uh, let's test like this. And I want to double check the pilot. This is ground and this is pilot. 12 volts, no problem. Let's plug in my Nissan Leaf.
No problem at all. Charging started. All right, the charger is working fine. If you find this video useful or interesting or both, give it thumbs up. It helps. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.